Hello and welcome back to the course on Databricks Unity Catalog. My name is Sijesh and this video we will quickly understand the various admin account that we use in Unity Catalog configuration. So first let's log into Databricks workspace and uh, which I have already opened and from here so we go to this account menu so which is nothing but accounts.azuredatabricks.net and this also use the same Azure AD authentication. And the first uh, account or admin account you need to consider is account admin. Okay, so account admin can manage this uh, Unity catalog uh, account page. So who is the super user or admin on this? So this account admin can do a lot of uh, tasks like managing identities, then um, creating the meta store adding it into workspaces adding user all those things account admin can do so initially uh, azure ad global admin only will be uh, available as a account admin and once azure ad global admin log into this portal and he can add the remaining users as account admin so we'll see how to add an account admin and uh, see what are the available account admin for this. So for this uh, account.azuredatabricks.net page, so go to this user management. So where you can see uh, the few users available and uh, you can see the role assigned. So these two users are account admin. And if you want to make some other user as account admin, yes, you can do that. So what you have to do is, uh, just select that user and uh, go to the roles and uh, here you can just uh, turn it on account admin so now this user has changed to account admin and back to this users uh, you can see that is also i mean changed as account admin so by using by logging using account admin so one uh, should be able to manage this in the sense uh, you can add uh, the various workspace to the unity catalog so you can modify that creating the meta store managing the user uh, making this uh, configuration changes etc at account level can do by this account admin okay so that is a one admin user that you need to have uh, before configuring the unity catalog or attaching workspace to unity catalog so that is about account admin and you can see who all are part of account admin from here so in this user management menu the second uh, type of user is a meta store admin okay so meta store admin uh, is something like uh, so who can manage the permission on meta store so if you go to the data menu you can see one meta store is created okay so by default account admin create this meta store so uh, this meta store admin will be as that user by default okay so in my case i did login as this user and my id is account admin and uh, i created this meta store so my id is added as a meta store admin by default so who is part of meta store admin so he should be able to create the catalog uh, then um, assign the permission to other user or all those things at the meta store level can be done by this meta store admin so uh, I mean so my id as a meta store admin i should be able to create the meta store i can assign this uh, sorry create the catalog then i should be able to uh, assign to various workspaces and uh, the permission settings uh, i mean adding permissions or assigning permission to the other user or group uh, i can do since i'm a meta store admin so the best practice is to have some identify some group some admin group add that group to as a a meta store admin so you can do by uh, this option like uh, meta store admin edit this and uh, just uh, here you can just uh, type the user or group whatever the user or group available uh, so for example uh, let me just uh, create another i mean add another user or better to add a group itself okay that i can change it from here so now this user has become meta store admin Okay, not my ID so if I um, come back here with my ID so 
I mean this here I, I did login with my ID so not that ID so you can see I don't have a create catalog permission so that is not there the reason is I'm not the account admin so better you can add a group uh, like uh, identify the group where you can add it okay so those people can manage this meta store you should be able to create the catalog so you should be able to add uh, permission to that uh, etc okay so i'm just changing back to my id right so this one you can set this is called meta store admin so the third type of admin is the workspace admin so workspace admin like uh, so this is my workspace so in workspace there are a lot of settings i can make like creating the cluster changing the permission then uh, deleting the cluster then a lot of uh, uh, settings at the workspace level can be done by the workspace admin so there are mainly two types of uh, users available in the workspace one is the workspace admin and normal user so that also we can manage from this um, account menu so for that what you have to do is uh, go to the workspace okay whatever the workspace which is added to this unity catalog select that workspace okay and go to the permission uh, menu so this is the place where we are assigning users or group to the workspace okay whatever the users or groups which i added here will have the permission or access permission on the workspace otherwise uh, the user won't be able to access that workspace okay so normally we will add a group here so that group will be available or you can add some group user here so that user will be available in this workspace or whatever the workspace we have selected and uh, if you're adding a new user okay so for example you can add a, a training user here so now i have added this three user only okay so this uh, three user let me just uh, back to here and uh, just to go to this admin settings and uh, users i can see only these three users available in this workspace the reason is i have added this three user only for this workspace so let me add one more uh, user here just uh, training okay and what type of permission i need to add for that user so it, as i said there are two types of user in workspace one is a normal user and the admin so admin is a kind of super user where you can do the uh, lot of setting changes at the workspace so we can add it as a normal user then admin can assign the privileges to this normal user so now i added this training user here okay so then uh, if you just refresh this page that uh, user might be added here okay you can see that okay but normally what we will do so we will create a group here okay or and that group we will assign with uh, some act or sync with some azure ad group and then that group we will add here so in that case if anybody need an access to the workspace what you can do is just add that user to Azure AD group so as simple so Azure AD group will be synced to unity catalog account then unity catalog account will sync to this workspace similarly if you have different workspace you can select that workspace assign the user or group and also you can uh, define what type of permission and here so we have a uh, workspace admin so workspace admin can do a lot of things like uh, uh, settings like uh, admin settings uh, is available only for workspace uh, that mean like uh, i mean the workspace level settings and lot of configurations this workspace admin can only do the normal user won't be having this uh, settings uh, changing permission so you can use this cluster and uh, i mean use this uh, workspace and uh, the remaining permission the admin has to provide so in short these are the three admin accounts you need to consider one is this account admin so where you will uh, use this account for creating the meta store assigning to uh, this unity catalog etc second is a meta store admin so initially that is the user who create this meta store but we can assign some user or group to that meta store admin so those who has the meta store admin can create the catalogs and other uh, resources inside this um, unity catalog metadata and third type of user is workspace admin 
okay so these are the three admin user that we need to consider in unity catalog hope it's clear thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye